What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. It was our ranged matchup versus Perbach. Uh, I believe they're an Austrian clan. I thought they were German at first, but their clan information says Austrian. Sorry if I'm wrong, guys, but these guys are awesome. Um, at the same time, uh, 2.0, we did not have our best war. Our nines, for the first time in a long time, really struggled. We had to use a lot of bully attacks and just uh, Perbach kind of had their way with us. 101 and 97. So congrats to them. Uh, it was a great war. So thank you. We uh, unfortunately fell very, very short. Uh, you know, we talked about it. Um, just just very uncharacteristic things, right? Like we, we usually can set the tens up to have a reasonable amount of chance uh, chances for three stars. And really, <laughs> they were picking up our slack left and right. So uh, something we need to work on in the future, obviously. Uh, can't let that happen uh, <laughs> ever, right? Even though we don't let it happen very often. That's uh, not the time to do it in an arranged matchup. Really drop the ball. Obviously, Purbach had some really nice bases, but still, no excuse. Uh, anyhow, uh, let's check it we got some really nice replays in here to show you. Starting down at the bottom, what I have my buddy Warble representing Ontario, Canada. Love it. This chocolate attacks here. Look at this army comp. The old gold, cold blooded Lalo. What Warb recognizes here is once he gets through the main uh, high hit point stuff, as long as he gets into that queen chamber, that air defense is definitely going to go down. And he's even got a shot at the other air defenses, but he just just wrecks his base because uh, not a lot of protection for these air defenses up here, right? Like it's just like hound, uh, loon, 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 and then that one's dead. And then hound, loon, 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 that one's dead. And you can just kind of move down the chain here, especially with that one being down. Sweeper isn't really pointing up in that direction. So the, I find the 12 o'clock section here is very vulnerable. And Warble really recognizes that and just rips through this. So Poison's down, taking care of those CC troops. Uh, Queen's in there, doing her thing. Dragon's about to go down. He's doing a little bit of work, but doesn't do much under those Poisons. A few more shots from that Queen on that Dragon. It is toast, and she's going to step up and take care of the air defense and the expo. So beautiful job by that kill squad. One golem only he used for that. So that's just awesome. That king is just beasting it up against that expo. Like it's not doing a thing to him. <laughs> so queen steps up, burns the rage, but takes down the expo very quickly. And in comes the hounds. So like I said, first two in and then watch two. Bloom, 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 bloom. All right. That air defense is done. Next section, right? The haste is going to throw everything on top of it and then push everything right on top of that next air defense because that archer tower is now down. So... You know, uh, Powerbang just did a video about dead zones, and I think they're viable, but you got to use them right. You cannot allow um, allow your base to be too, too easily laloed because you're really trying to section off your queen chamber or whatever you're using the neutral zone for. Um, you got you have to balance it properly. Like any any new thing you'll see in a town hall nine build. You cannot forget the fundamentals, right? It, you cannot forget your your hog defense, your lilo defense. It, it has to be priority one and build from there, right? If you can build a base with a dead zone that follows all the other principles and really protecting your air defense as well, then, you know, I, I would find it a lot more viable to use a large dead zone. But if you're going to do do something like that, guys like War, we're just going to walk all over you. Tree stars in the back. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> what else I got? I'm just going to rip through like a few of these. Show you the top ones. Yeah, I'll show you a couple of the nines. Um, so I haven't had a lot of, a lot of time this week. Um, uh, the last couple of weeks actually for the recaps. So my apologies, I actually missed a couple of recaps. They were just both very easy farm wars for Invicta and 2.0. Um, but just to let you guys know, I did miss doing the recaps for that. Just real life kind of getting in the way of uh, clash at the moment, which uh, I think is completely understandable. Um, starting this new job, actually, we're insanely busy and uh, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it, but obviously taking a little bit more of my time away from me. So, um, yeah, but definitely want to get this Perbach one in because these guys deserve to recap because they really, really had some good attackers, some great bases because, uh, like I said, our nines have not struggled like this in a very, 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 very long time. So, uh, nice job on the base building there, Perbach. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong too, so apologies if that's happening, but it is what it is. I do my best. So, this queen charge is going fantastic for Skip. 
uh, splits things up, has this uh, king down here with some Valks. They're just going to work their way into this little nook, and then that queen hops the wall. Boom. See that? Only two spaces between the wall. Um, so all the Valks lock on. Down goes that defensive queen. King didn't even need to do anything. Um, yeah, so jump goes down. Barely connects that. That was just a beautiful jump placement. Heels down. Keep taking care of those Valks. Queen is still doing work. She is just going to go up and around and just finish off the rest of this base. Oh, the Tesla's pop. My bad. Sucks her in a little bit, but still. Here come all these balloons. I love this. Like, he doesn't even have that last air defense down. He did zap quake and air defense as well. So I should have mentioned that earlier while I was rambling on and on. Um, haste placement, great. Just gets right in between those defenses. Going to throw everything back over this remaining compartment. And he has five more uh, balloons. He's just waiting for that air defense to go down. Needs that queen to step up there, kind of help everything out. Just once she works through the wall, you'll kind of see how this plays out. Exactly that happens. Just such good patience by Skip on his balloons right now. King is just getting beat. So he raises up the king. is about to burst through that wall. Queen's going to step up, help with the Teslas. They're all doing tanking now. In come the balloons. Down goes the air defense. It is clean up time, basically, because those loons are about to smash all those defenses. Heroes in there with the healers. Just a beautiful attack, my friend. Tree stars in the bag. All right, check out these Town Hall 10 trips. MoFo going in on their number five. So um, Mo just kind of recently uh, busted his way up to uh, Town Hall 11, which is awesome. Good to have him there because he's just going to start beasting through a lot of these uh, Max 10s or very, you know, well-developed 10s, we'll just call them. Um and uh, yeah, like we really, really, really could use these attacks up top. Uh, so Mofo is leading the charge for us on that because uh, he is just a monster up there. He's uh, bagging quite a few TH10 triples even before he got the Warden and went up to 11. So now that he's at 11, it's just good, good game. Beware Town Hall 10s because Mofo is going to be tripling you. Um, you see this little queen charge here. Uh, I mentioned another recap. Uh, these little like one defense compartments. They're almost like a little like run lane for your uh, for your queen charges and stuff. So see how this queen just kind of walking in, just getting all the stuff, getting even lock onto that defensive queen there under the rage. See you later. Healing her back up. She's just gonna continue to rip through this whole section of base without any serious issues whatsoever. Down goes that cannon, and boom, let's open up the wall again. So everything's open right there. Drops a jump with a golem, and then his king and is gonna go behind once he creates a little bit of a funnel. Queen's just going to finish off this stuff, walk right into this compartment. He's now going to get to the second air. So the second air defense, the CC troops, uh, two or one axe boat. Like he just got so much value on that walk. That whole section of base out below that inferno is all dead now. And in comes this king. You know, take care of the CC troops right now. Walks in. He's going to rage it up in one second. I think he gets both expos and the inferno. Bam, down goes the Expo, down goes the Inferno, <laughs> just absolutely insane value, and in comes the air attack. So the Hounds are in, two in on that first air defense, just going to haste everything right in on top of all that's remaining, but really half the base is already destroyed. All these balloons on the back end with the Grand Ward and targeted to air, I thought this was really clever, just to try and push these balloons right on top of this last air defense. Bam, 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 Freeze is down for that last Inferno. Just got to get to that air defense. Balloons are taking just a little bit of time, but they're back in that haste. Down goes the air defense. And just got to make it to that Inferno Tower, and it is done. The Grand Warden saves the day for those balloons. One more drop, and the Inferno is down. Just got to take care of the really core here uh, with the Queen under the heel. With her ability still, it is GG. Goblins in for cleanup. Got some pups on the outside. Nothing left to stop this three-star. Very clever attack, Mofo. I like this one. Use of the Grand Warden. Tree Stars. Nice little 11 on 10 bully there. And Ammo. <clears throat> also, uh, bullying 18 witches. Like, just insane. <laughs> That's it. 18 witches. Um, 
think he's got a golem in the CC there. Uh, maybe he has even more witches in the CC. Uh, I think this is in response. This kind of attack is in response to the update to the eagle cannon. Oh, no, it is a golem. Um, because a lot of these Town Hall 11s are now getting accustomed to not using that many golems anymore. Um, I mean, I know once they updated the witches... 11 versus 10 witch attacks became very, very powerful. But I think even you're going to see it even more so now because all these Town Hall 11s at 11 versus 11 aren't going to be using that many golems, it seems, at least. I don't know. I'm not there. but um, So you're going to see a lot more mass, mass witches just trying to flood the base like this and then uh, come away a lot of times with three stars. Just overpowered. Look at all these skeletons uh, standing under the warden. King takes a bit of a walk. Who freaking cares? He's got a billion skeletons running through this base. Multi infernos. Who cares? We're just going to beast right into this. We're standing under the Grand Warden, who, by the way, has not even popped the ability yet. One inferno is down. Just going to take a little bit of time to continue to work through this base. There goes that Grand Warden ability. Just going to finish everything up and in through that Wiz Tower. Jumplets everything into that next inferno. It's just a matter of time before it goes down. Queen's in there. Locked onto that inferno tower now. Down it goes. These witches are going to be a Okay, look at all the skeletons. They're just ripping through lava walls like nothing. <laughs> just ridiculous. I wonder how many witches he has remaining out of the 18. Wish I could count that. Mm -mm -mm. Wiz Tower down here, Mortar there, and I think those are the last splash defense for like probably at least a dozen witches, witches in there, if not more. Might have even all 18 to be honest. <laughs> I'll basically fast forward this because it is a cleanup time. <laughs> Do, 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 do. That grand word at level 20 is just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Boom. How many witches do you have left? That was crazy. <laughs> nice job, ammo. Tree stars in the bag. All right, so I'm sorry for the sort of short-ish recap. Um, congrats, Purbach. Great war, guys. Um, can't believe we, uh, you know, we, uh, we as a team dropped the ball. Obviously, no one's specifically fault, but had a lot, lot, lot of uh, missed attacks, myself included. Not missed attacks, but attacks that fell short. And, uh, you know, we were on planning, but we uh, did make it a point to ensure that down the road we're, uh, we're being just a little bit more active with, uh, you know, our uh, Discord sessions and uh, going over plans and getting second opinions on things. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's going to come. Seeing a lot of good... Uh, good vibes going around the clan though um you know we just had a war as well uh invicta versus whf2 that was really good um yeah so you know obviously content's gonna keep flowing it's only a matter of time before uh we don't see anything but green stripes in our book because uh i know everyone in this clan is just absolutely on track with uh getting to be the best player they can absolutely be so uh again love you 2.0 <clears throat> whole family included you know i got my alt and invicta as well and i uh i love warren with every single one of you so uh hats off gentlemen wars like this are tough but uh you know win together lose together you know how it is but that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser guys just trying to help you bag that next tree star until then i'm out